What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Unvitter Tammy Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of this week's Fan Mail of the Week, everybody. We are officially about 12 to 13 days uh, before Christmas, everybody. We're a little less than three weeks away from New Year's, and let's just say that it's been an absolute amazing ride thus far. 2014 is almost over, everybody, and what better way to end it off with, you know, all the great games that we've had, Sunset Overdrive. As you guys saw, Call of Duty Advanced War. Warfare. Um, so many great games and so many great games to come, such as Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which is February 13th, I believe. We have Battlefield Hardline. We have Mortal Kombat X. So many great movies, such as The Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, and everything in between. So um, for me, I am very, very excited. I mean, it's just been a, it's, it's been an amazing year. We had Destiny. We had Titanfall. We had, you know, numerous great movies that, that came out. So um, what better way to end it off than uh, just on a great note? So I really hope that all of you guys are going to enjoy these last couple of weeks. I know some of you guys are going to be going on vacation. Um, you know, some of you guys are going on, you know, winter recess from school, winter break from college and stuff like that. So uh, spend your, uh, your your recess time and your off times very well with your friends and family because you'll never really know uh, when things can change for the worse. So uh, just cherish all of your moments and just most, most importantly, have fun. Have fun with your friends. Have fun with your family. Enjoy the time with everything and everybody so and shit freaking i freaking saw what happened in, uh i think it was about a week and a half ago during black friday jesus christ i mean the xbox one was dropped down to like i believe um 350 something with like one free game and i remember my friend called me up and he was like oh my god they're like raiding fucking best buy and i was like wow this is just nuts so anyways everybody before we begin uh as as always of course if you guys haven't already done so please go on ahead and check out and subscribe to my second channel at unreal ent network everybody the link will be in the description below um on that channel everyone you will find a whole bunch of stuff that you guys won't find on here alternative what if battles reviews and debates topics and group discussions and stuff like that so some really awesome things on that channel that you guys would truly enjoy and um i really hope you guys also submit your questions for uh next week's fan mail because it, it was it was very hard getting to everybody's questions so because there's so many of you guys i mean i'm trying at least so uh anyways everybody let's begin with our first question of the week i feel as if i'm getting sick i better not get sick or so help me god i'm going to spirit bomb this planet to hell anyways everybody let's begin with our first question of the week which is from hey there mr alex i am back with some more questions that's right i am back with some more that's what matters anyways First question right off the bat, because I'm going to make this re really fast, really easy, hopefully easy, and uh, I know you're really busy, so this is how fast we're going to go! Really, really fast! Alright, so first question right off the bat, The Evil Within, yes, your thoughts, opinions on that game. Anyways, for me in general, it's really good so far, but not really too scary. What are your thoughts on that? Anyways, second question, are you pumped for the next wrestling match? Because I saw it, and I can't wait to see what happens in that match, and I already know who's going to win the match, like, I, I'm, already, I'm already betting who's going to win this one, it, it, it starts with an A, and ends with an X, and hopefully uh, you know who that is, <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, my third and final question, yes, I know I can't slow down a little bit on it, but I gotta speed up, get go more questions going, anyways, the third question, what are we going to some interesting things in the... Within the year before Christmas, like, what what are you excited for in general? Could it be, like, the next Halo collection? Could it be a movie that's coming out? Anything. Let me know! Anyways, that's it for now. Peace out, Alex! Have a great day! I was not expecting fan mail from Jason. Anyways, everybody, that was my good friend Jason over at Action Saiyan Gamer. He is also a part of Unreal ENT Universe. Uh, very great kid. Very, very excited. He has so much energy. I feel like if he was, uh, you know, a Saiyan or something, like, I would draw energy from him because he would have so much of it. So, but anyways, Mr. Action Saiyan Gamer, thank you for the questions. Now, to answer your first question, my thoughts on The Evil Within. The Evil Within is a very good game. Um, um, yes, although I find it to be a uh, lack of horror in a sense, you know, like, I, I feel as if the game doesn't scare me as much. The only time I'll jump is when, like, those invisible demonic zombies would come and they would want to eat you. That's it. Um... The game has a very interesting and very in-depth atmosphere. Um, I will say the game is very dark. Um, you know... There are a few things that I would nitpick about the game. I mean, there isn't any horror game that I've seen thus far that really impressed me aside from Silent Hills. Um, so for me, I would have to say that 
Um, the Evil Within is definitely a game that I really would recommend to all of you guys to get this holiday season, whether it be for the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. You have to get that game. It is very, very good. Um, the Evil Within, for me, like I said, it lacks in that scare department. Um, the game, <clears throat> The game doesn't really scare me because... I, I guess I'm so used to the things that I've seen over the years that I've adjusted to it. The game has great gameplay, a very good story. Um, I will not ruin it for you guys. And for those of you out there, out there who haven't seen my previous Evil Within uh, walkthrough, I really recommend you guys to go on ahead and check that out. Um, but the Evil Within does deliver on so many levels. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm losing my voice here. <clears throat> I'm infected, I'm a zombie. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the game is very good. It reminds you of Resident Evil. It reminds you of... Silent Hill, it reminds you of, you know, some of these old, you know, old school games like Clock Tower and stuff like that. It's a very interesting game, a very good game. So, and in essence, I would say yes, it does lack in the scare department, but uh, I think it makes up for the gameplay and stuff like that. Because when you have one bullet and you have to fight off like 20,000 of these evil dudes, it, it's really hard to do. So, uh, to answer your second question, my thoughts on my upcoming match. Uh, yes, December 19th, whoever's in New York. Um, in the NYC arena in Jamaica, I will be taking on Ken Broadway, and I'm going to beat the mess out of that kid. I'm going to rip his freaking hair out of his scalp. I'm going to beat the mess out of that kid. So, anybody who's in the New York area who wants to go see, uh, myself perform, or who wants to go see the main event, which is going to be AJ Styles versus Ricochet for the House of Glory World Heavyweight Championship, of course, we're going to have uh, BXL taking on Michael Elgin. We're going to have a lot of great things on this show for House of Glory on December 19th. So I myself will be wrestling um, Ken Broadway. And I'm telling you right now, I am going to make sure that he pays for everything that he's done to me because I am coming in there with blood on my hands. And... Um, like I said, guys, uh, the, the venue is called the NYC Arena in Jamaica, Queens. Uh, if you guys do want to look that up, it's Jamaica, Queens, New York, NYC Arena. Uh, if you want to get directions for there, you can. Um, I will be at the event. I will be doing uh, autograph signings and everything. So if, if you guys want to come take a picture or whatever, just feel free to do so. Don't be so afraid to talk to me or whatnot. So December 19th, Broadway is dead. That's all I'm going to say about that. And then, of course, on December 21st, I'm going to Toronto, Canada to wrestle over there. So it, it, it's going to be it's going to be very fun. I cannot wait. So um, and to answer your final question, what am I excited for? Well, we are in the Christmas spirit. Um, a lot of Christmas vibes. Uh, the weather has been unusual, but you know, very moderate. I guess you could say to this time of year. Um, I can't wait until the summer. So six more months uh, for uh, until we actually get to uh, experience some decent weather. But what I'm mostly excited for, to be honest, now th this might sound a little cheesy or whatnot, but. I'm just excited on being here and just continuing to talk to you guys, con continuing to just bring you guys some really awesome stuff. Listen, I love you guys. You guys are really awesome. Like, I, I, I actually met so many of you, and I've gotten to know so many of you personally on a personal level, and I never would have thought that would have happened. I've made a lot of friends on here. I've made a lot. Of, I mean, you're all my friends, but then there are some people that truly reached out to me, and I've became very close with people like Jason, people like... Like Edgar that I met, people like um, Nathan, people, you know, such as that. I mean, I, I've met so many people on here that I relatively grew accustomed to, like Danny and, and so many other people. And it, it just, it gives me a very warm feeling to know that you're being accepted. So I'm very excited on still being here and just interacting with you guys. I have a whole bunch of new projects ready for you guys for next year. I told you guys the same thing for 2013 and look what happened. It turned out to be amazing. So like I said, um, and I'm also excited for uh, certain movies that are supposed to be coming out in January. Like, I, I know this might sound a little corny as well, uh, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the new Amityville movie, the new Amityville horror remake. Um, hopefully, it's going to be good, but a lot of people are saying, oh, it comes out in January, so it must suck. So, I mean, I really don't see why, uh, but it is what it is. I mean, there are certain things that I'm looking forward to. Um, another personal thing that I am looking forward to um, now, the day I have children, I cannot wait to have kids. Uh, I, I really cannot wait for the day where I start to prepare gifts for them for Christmas. Now, I have a lot of friends who have children, and it, it's, it's really cool. You know, it, it, I, I'm sure many of you guys out there who have kids 
um, you know, how cool and how, you know, special it is for you to do to your kids where our parents did to us for Christmas and stuff like that, you know, just give us that, you know, beautiful, warm feeling of, you know, comfort and love and, you know, give them gifts and just appreciate every moment with them, you know, um, and I can't wait to do that, so... And especially, I mean, if, if you're counting for next year, I can't wait to see the Avengers too. I mean, I've been doing so many updates on that. You guys have been seeing it, especially on uh, Unreal ENT Network. I've been doing a lot of updates on there. That, that movie's going to be fucking awesome. Ultron, and, and you're going to have the Vision, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver. Iron Man fighting off, you know, Thor. It's, it's going to be super sick. So I can't wait to see that, to be honest. So um, anyways, Mr. Jason, thank you for the questions, and I hope you have a very warm and very good week weekend my friend for vegeta <laughs> anyways on to the next question everybody and it is from what is going on guys i'm notorious blaze and today i'm doing some fan mail of the week questions for my buddy alex aka unreal ent gaming so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with this alex you might notice something in the background of this video you might be saying Man, those were some fun days. This is some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Origins. I didn't survive for long, but I got up to at least like round 21 or something like that. So I thought I would grab a few pieces out of this. Now, with that being said, me, you, Brandon, and Danny had some fun times on all the Zombies maps. If it wasn't Brandon or Danny, I know it was just me and you. Like, we had a blast on these, man. And it did bring back a few memories. Some of them were quite horrifying because you always liked the freaking hog up the mystery box but anyways man when are we gonna do this again because i'd really like to jump on some call of duty black ops 2 zombies with you but let's go ahead and get into these questions so question number one if you could have any power out of a game like skipping dialogue or being a master with a sword or anything like that kind of stuff like magic all this wonderful harry potter wizardry shit but it cannot be from dragon ball z naruto or Superman, like anything like that. Like it has to be straight up a random ass game kind of power that you would like to have. For me, it would be skipping dialogue because I really don't like talking to some people. Because they really get annoying, if you know what I mean. Alright, question number two. What motivated you to get into YouTube, to start doing YouTube? Because I know for one, I didn't get on here and say, you know what, I just want to jump up and start uploading videos. I literally just got on, you said, dude, you need to try this. You basically pushed me to do it, which I actually am glad you did it, because it actually brought gaming into like a fun, fundamental style way for me, I guess you can say. Then question number four, how has gaming affected your life? Like, how has it really evolved around your average day life like you used to be and all this other stuff? And then number five. When will we ever see a setup video? Because I've been asking since you hit like 50k subscribers or some shit like that. Man, I've been waiting for you to do this. You haven't done it yet. When the fuck are we going to see one? But anyways, guys, that is my questions for the day. And Alex, I hope you have a blast answering these guys. Ans answering this, but peace. I love Dave. I mean, who, who doesn't love this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, that was Notorious Blaze. Uh, one thing I will say, everybody, I really hope you guys go on ahead and check his channel out. Notorious Blaze. Now, this is what he does different aside from my channel. He does a lot of alternative games. He loves to do Dark Souls, Dark Siders. He's been doing Call of Duty Zombies. He's been doing a lot of RPG games such as Fallout and Skyrim. Uh, I mean, this this kid is extremely awesome. Dave, I've known Dave now, right now for oh my god amount of years like well pushing past like five six seven years i don't know i've known dave for such a long time right now and uh dave having fan mail come for you is just absolutely amazing um like i said everybody if you guys are fan of fans of myself you might want to go on ahead and check out mr notorious blaze because i'm going to be on there as well so if you guys want to see more of me doing you know dark siders and stuff like that or whatever the case may be i will be featured on his channel as well um so anyways mr notorious blaze to answer your first question if I could have any power from any game, I guess you could say, what would it be? Hmm, that is very interesting. I would probably have or want the ability to... I would say, well, if we're including Harry Potter, I would love to do and wield the power of the wand because then I can just do whatever I want. I can just win Guardian Leviosa somebody and I could just knock them into an oblivion. So having the power of, you know, the, the wand is pretty, pretty 
impressive because not every person can wield the power of that wand as seen in the Harry Potter movies where a bunch of people actually fucked up doing spells and stuff. So I guess you could say magic would be one. Um, another thing I would like to have is the ability to be like Master Chief, being able to master the arts of combat, you know, fighting and stuff like that, CQC, and being able to survive so much because, let's face it, at this point, we're all wondering how in the world is Master Chief still able to survive so many things? Now, going back to the Halo Chief Master Chief Collection, Halo Chief Master Chief Collection, the Halo Master Chief Collection, um, going through Halos 1, 2, 3, and 4, we get to see how progressive and how, you know, Master Chief has evolved throughout all of this. So, I would have to say I would want to be like Master Chief a very hardcore Spartan that knows his style, that knows, you know, how to combat certain things and whatnot, that knows how to fight. Um, in a retrospective, I would also want to, I, I guess you could say, be like Batman, but you said we can't reference that. But then again, Batman was in the Injustice game. Batman is a very, very strategic fighter and a very, very uh, awesome combatant. Um, everybody who's on here is pretty much a Batman fan. Oh, and by the way, since I just brought that up, let me know in the comment section below, everybody, whether or not you guys are more towards Superman or more towards Batman. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I mean, those would have to be, the, the, the I guess, the powers I would choose. Uh, to answer your second question, all right, what motivated me to do YouTube? All right. I've answered this many times before, so I'll answer it one more time. What motivated me to do YouTube goes back to when I was a kid. When I was a kid, everybody, I used to record my PS1 and PS2 gameplays on my VCR. Now, I know a lot of you guys are very, very young. Some of you guys may not even know what a VCR is, but back in my time, um, we used to stick a cassette tape in the VCR um, have all of these, you know, wires and plugs coming in and out of the TV and VCR and PlayStation 2 and stuff like that. So, what I did was I used to record Resident Evil 1, I used to record Animal Crossing, I used to record Metal Gear Solid, I used to record, you know, Dragon Ball Z. I used to record a lot of things on tape. And I, I remember after I had these things on my cassette tape, I would show my friends and they would be like, oh, this is awesome and stuff like that. So I, I've been doing YouTube before even YouTube existed. Um, then when YouTube finally came out, my very first video, believe it or not, was on my first ever, uh, first ever channel, which was called WWE Rule 5. Um, I remember I made a video response to some guy who was bashing WWE at the time and he was defending TNA. Um, from there, I pretty much continued to evolve with YouTube to grow adjusted. And one thing that I noticed was I've always wanted to showcase my points of views for games because there was th th there would always be something that would happen that I wish it was caught on tape so somebody can see how stupid it was or how funny it was or how epic it was. And that's how I started my, my uh, official second channel, um, Alex Animal 7 at the time. Um, and I, I remember making machinimas with you guys. We did how we get downs and stuff like that. It, it, it was really, really awesome. So, you know, it grew from there. And then finally, I decided to say, you know what? I'm just going to stick to this and I'm going to bring some awesome stuff to the table. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm very grateful for it. So uh, the, mo the motivation behind that is seeing people happy, talking to people. I mean, I, I, I have yet to see anybody on this network who's been doing as much fan mail as myself. Literally, like a hundred plus weeks of just bringing you guys fan mail, talking to you guys, answering your questions. I mean, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of hours here of fan mail, hundreds of hours of fan mail brought to you guys. Um, and I, I don't regret it one bit, you know, like I, I'm actually grateful that I'm here and I'm doing this for you guys. So um, to answer your third question, how has gaming changed my life? Well, Video games have affected all of us. Without video games, where exactly would we be in life? Video games sometimes are better than movies. Video games depict great stories, great characters. Video games depict, you know, how certain outlooks can be seen. You know, video games have affected me because you, you get to see things from a different perspective. You get to see things through, uh, I, I guess you could say, a different window. Um, and most games have brought so many different things to the table. You know, the Gears of War uh, franchise, the Halo franchise, the Uncharted franchise, you know, um, the Last of Us franchise. I mean, going back in time, stories like Banjo and Kazooie, you know, Conquer, you know, even the Pokemon storylines for the games and stuff like that. You know, video games have influenced 
my me to be a, a very gr like a, a grateful person to appreciate the little things you know um gaming has changed my life for the better and it will never ever change it for the worse i mean i don't see how some people can say oh i hate video games well I, that, that is a blatant lie how in the world would, can you just hate a video game for what you know like, it makes no sense i mean if you hate video games you just you're, you're just not living life um, and to answer your final question, I will make a setup video by the end of the month to show you guys how crappy my setup is. Um, I promise you I will. But in the meantime, I will keep that for a surprise until uh, it is actually going to be shown. So uh, anyways, Mr. Notorious Blaze, thank you for the questions, Dave. And I hope you have a very wonderful and blessed weekend, my friend. And now moving on to the next question, which is from Vincent Vegito. Hey Alex, just wanted to say thank you so much for answering my questions this week. I really hope this gets on fan mail because I've been trying now for five weeks. Man, let me tell you, there's a lot of people, man. Trust me, if I was if I was a machine by some chance, if I was uh, capable of just staying up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I do fan mail every day. So, anyways, man, here are some questions for you. Question number one: Do you think the Avengers three will end its series with Thanos, or do you think Galactus will make some sort of an appearance? Question number two, thoughts on Pacific Rim 2 having a Category 6 monster be introduced? Good idea or bad idea? Question number three, why does Piccolo always get the short end of the stick when in fact he is one of the best Dragon Ball Z characters in the group? Do you think he will ever have his moment of glory? Question number four, I love your advanced warfare videos. They are truly enjoyable and funny as hell. Thank you, man. Uh, do you think the next Call of Duty game will be better or will it fall short? Question number five, thoughts on the upcoming Paranormal Activity 5 movie and uh, if it will have an end off to a good note. Well, to answer, well, thank you for the question, by the way, Vincent. It really means a lot, and I really hope you have a great day, by the way. Uh, to answer your first question, Thanos or Galactus. Now, Thanos is a, he's a, he's a demigod. Like, this guy is a mad titan. Um, I feel as if they might just end it off with Thanos. Then again, um, if the Avengers 3 makes a couple of billion of dollars, I'm pretty sure they're going to continue. Why would you want to end the series with Thanos? Now, if I was Hollywood, I would not end it off with Thanos. Um, they have so many comic books, guys. So many different stories. So many different perspectives on, like, w things that can happen, things that can go about, um... By having the Avengers fight off Thanos, I think that would be a very good thing. I think that they shouldn't kill him off. I think that Thanos would be a good lead into making the Avengers 4 or the Avengers 5. Now, Galactus would be such a good character to have. Although Galactus is a little overkill because he is supposed to be, you know, this giant, you know, planet-like, you know, character. And he has every single power known to, you know, man. Um, he is the overseer and he is the over preserver of, you know, the entire universe. Like Galactus is the be all end all. And, uh, by having him in it, how exactly would you throw that about? I mean, you would have the guardians of the galaxy try to fight him off. You would have the Avengers such as, you know, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, you know, you would have the Vision, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver. You would have the Fantastic Four try to destroy him. It'll just be like, wow, like very overwhelming. So um, in terms of having Galactus be a part of this, I think it would be very interesting to see. Um, <clears throat> I just don't, I, I don't feel like Thanos is going to be the be all end all. I, I, I feel as if there's going to be something after Thanos. Who knows? I mean, leave your thoughts in the comment section below on what you guys believe is going to come after Thanos. But for me, I, I feel like he can't be the last one. Um, Now, granted, by the time the Avengers 3 does come out, it's going to be like 2021 or something. It's going to be a very long time because you're going to have all of these other superhero movies come out like Ant-Man and all that kind of stuff. So, Planet Hulk... Captain America 3, Iron Man 4, Thor 3, all that kind of stuff, you know, um, so Guardians of the Galaxy 2, it's just so much, so, um, I feel like there will be an Avengers 4, possibly an Avengers 5, and I wouldn't mind that whatsoever, I mean, shit, I'll be, I think I'll be nearing my 30s, I, it, it'll just be like, what the hell, man, holy shit, um, <clears throat> I, I just feel like sometimes movies take so freaking long to make, and it sucks because we want to see them, like, come out yearly, but, uh, and the actors themselves, the actors themselves are going to be way too old, so they're going to have to try to get new actors to replace Thor and Iron Man and Captain America and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to be like, oh, God, we have a new cast, everybody, so that means new movies and stuff like that, so... Uh, to answer your second question, Pacific Rim 2 having a Category 6. Yes, I do agree. 
<clears throat> that they should do that because Category 5 in the uh, Pacific 1 movie, um, Category 1, which was Sla- well, Category 5, excuse me, which was Slattern, he got defeated by Gypsy Danger. I mean, a Category 5 being beaten off that easily? No. I think that they should introduce a Category 6, Category 7, and Category 8 monsters. And I think that these monsters ought to be, like, gargantuan in size. Like, just absolute beasts. Um, different designs, different, you know, special abilities and stuff like that. You know, why not do something different is the question. Um, so I think it'll be a good idea. Having all of the Jaegers get ripped apart. You know, having, you know, these monsters and these kaijus reemerge bigger, stronger, faster, more intelligent than ever before, you know, fighting off somebody like Gypsy Danger and possibly beating him. I, I, I feel as if we need, like, a new fusion slash hybrid, you know, um, I guess you could say Jaeger in the Pacific Rim 2 film uh, to combat these new kaijus. Like, these new kaijus ought to get adjusted to, you know, everything that's been happening on Earth because then that'll introduce a more dynamic story of having these monsters come to Earth and battle these giant robots and stuff. So... Having a Category 6, I think, would work. Unless, of course, they decide to start unleashing nothing but Category 5s. You know, that would be very interesting. But um, rather than sending off, like, one or two monsters, like, I think, like, ten kaijus need to emerge at once. It's like, oh, my God. Like, you have ten kaijus versus ten Jaegers, and, like, there's, like, an all-out war happening. Like, you know, like, I, I think that will be very interesting. I mean, not all kaijus and not all Jaegers, you know, must survive. But if you're going to do a robot slash monster film, you ought to do it to the point where, you know, um, it just it just captivates the audience. Because Pacific Rim 1 captivated me, so why not just continue forward with that? I mean, I feel like it would be a great idea. So, um, To answer your third question, Piccolo. Uh, yes, I do agree. Piccolo is one of the best. Piccolo is very knowledgeable. Piccolo is possibly one of the best fighters in that group. But I don't think Piccolo is ever going to have his moment of glory. Um... The same thing can be said about Vegeta. A lot of people loved Vegeta so much, but again, he never had his moment of glory. Um, at this point, <clears throat> it's already centered around Gohan, Goku, Vegeta, all those type of guys. And now you have Beerus and Whis. Piccolo, I don't think, is ever going to have his moment of glory. Because if he did, how come he didn't have a significant effect in Battle of Gods? You know, how come he didn't have a significant effect in the uh, Buu Saga? You know, even in GT, which is non-canon. He still never had any significant importance, and Piccolo is a very, very awesome character. Um, looking back on it now, he's a very, very like malevolent and just you know all inspiring character because he's just there, always you know focused and ready. So I feel like they ought to give him one more moment for himself, but I really doubt that's gonna happen. To be honest, man. Um, to answer your fourth question, Advanced Warfare, thank you once again for liking my Advanced Warfare videos, and for those of you out there who haven't checked out my Advanced Warfare videos, you guys can go on ahead and do so. The playlist is on my channel, and on Unreal ENT Network, everybody, I've been doing a lot of, you know, alternative videos on there that you guys are truly going to enjoy, uh, little setup videos and quick, you know, little thoughts and opinions on Advanced Warfare, awesome ass freaking montages and stuff, so you guys might want to go on ahead and check that out, I think you guys would like that a lot, so going back and to advanced warfare now i i love the game i think the game has been one of the best call of duty games uh for a while now um but in terms of next year's call of duty possibly black ops 3 uh will it fall short um if it's black ops 3 no if it's not black ops 3 then yes because obviously next year we're bound to see zombies and that right there is going to draw you in you know significantly more than this one um <laughs> Who doesn't fucking like zombies? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like zombies or anything else. You know, I I would much rather choose zombies. Um, so zombies is definitely going to be included next year, um, which I cannot wait for. Um, but Advanced Warfare offers such a unique, you know, multiplayer system that I feel as if you know it, it does deliver. It truly does. And people that don't see that are just either too blind or they're just too ignorant to admit that this is a good Call of Duty game. Um, granted, there are certain things that every Call of Duty game has that nobody likes, but it's, it's a relatively fun game. I mean, I don't see what's not fun about this game. Um, in terms of, if, of it falling short, like I said, if it's Black Ops 3, then yes. If it's not, then no. And to answer your final question on Paranormal Activity 5, oh boy, um... <clears throat> 
Paranormal Activity 5, I feel as if they ought to step it up. They have to step it up. If they do not step it up with Paranormal Activity 5, the franchise is going to flop. The franchise is going to flop because they're not going to have any any relevance anymore. So there aren't much details to be discussed as of right now, but I'm pretty sure that as time goes on, they're bound to include something. But I mean, based off of what happened in the Mark ones using that doorway and then using all these other things, um, I'm pretty sure they're bound to just start traveling through time and start traveling through, oh, what the hell, events. Um, what the, I don't know what just played. Um, yeah, but like, <clears throat> they, they ought to circulate more because I, I know a lot of you guys might be saying paranormal activity sucks, paranormal activity sucks, paranormal activity sucks. It, it does suck. It, it's been starting to suck, but in an essence, uh, I think they're going to bring it back. And if they don't, uh, honestly, I think the franchise is going to flop if they don't do something quick. So, Anyways, Mr. Vincent, thank you for the questions and I hope you have a very awesome and safe weekend, my friend. And now moving on to the next question, which is from Alex is the best ever. That is awesome. What, what is that? What is that little profile picture supposed to be? Is that me with like a little pipe in my hand? Hey, Alex, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? If you're reading this, thank you. Uh, your videos have got me through a lot of tough times. Thanks. Well, that's what I'm here for, man. Trust me. I It really means a lot that I've, you know, helped so many of you get through stuff like that because... I mean, that, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I, I like talking to you people. That, that, I, if it wasn't for that, I, I wouldn't be doing fan mail. Either that or I'd be too busy to do fan mail, but I still do it anyway for you guys. So anyways, let's begin with your questions. Question number one, Super Saiyan 4, Broly versus Super Saiyan God, Goku. Who do you think will win? Question two, my family is religious. Should I follow in their footsteps? Question number three, do you think that DBZ might have a new show coming? Thanks for reading. Well, to answer your first question, Alex, or should I say Alex is the best ever, whatever the case may be, um, thank you for the questions, by the way. To answer your first question, Super Saiyan God Goku would easily mop the floor with Broly. We all agree with that. I mean, seriously. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Broly would pose to be a very, very formidable foe. I think we all agree to that. I, I, I feel like Super Saiyan 4 Broly would be a very dominant person. Um, he'll be he'll be very hard to take on. I'll tell you that much. Because like just thinking about, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Broly, it's like this dude is just indestructible. Like Super Saiyan 4 Broly like would have powers <laughs> beyond anything else. I, I would say. Um, but like th th there's there's no way. There's just no way that Broly would be able to combat Super Saiyan. God Goku like there, there's just no way I I feel as if like that is impossible because Super Saiyan God Goku would literally mop the four with Broly there, there I mean Broccoli would not stand a fucking chance not, not not even in the least so for me personally I would have to say that if it was Super Saiyan 4 uh Broly versus Super Saiyan God Goku Super Saiyan God Goku would destroy him so uh, to answer your second question, all right, well, this might stir some controversy, but this these are just my personal beliefs, and I really hope that you guys just hear me out on this. If your family is religious, I feel as if you should be um, religious as well, because this is why I say that. Now, like, to have faith, right, to have faith in being a good person, in living on, and just becoming more than you can possibly be in the future, after life is over and done with, it doesn't require anything from you but, like, your time. That's it. Like, a little bit of your time, is, is, is that so much for somebody to say, oh, well, they want me to be religious, and they want me to be a good person, but it, and it, it involves time, and I don't want to give that up, you know? It doesn't cost you anything to put faith in something that is good. You know, what's what, somebody please explain to me, what's so horrible about God? You know, and I know a lot of people might say, well, if God's real, then why does he allow this to happen, and that to happen, and this to happen, if that to happen? You know, the same thing can be said about many things. I mean, why do we allow certain things to happen as people? Why do we, you know, stand for things that shouldn't be stood for? You know, um, I feel like you should just take the time to just, you know, follow the the words of the wise and follow, you know, the uh, follow the religious faith, because all 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 it really asks for from you is to be a good person, to live a good life, to be honest, to love your enemies, to love everybody around you, to give back to your community, to give back to God. And that's it. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't require you to donate one billion dollars in Twinkies, you know, like it doesn't require you to do any of that, you know, so I don't see why 
many people just have a problem with that, you know, and I, I have a lot of, um, <clears throat> I have a lot of atheist friends, I have a lot of people who don't believe in God, I have a lot of people who do believe in God, you know, like, it, it's, it's not, it shouldn't be a fucking fight, you know, it should just be like, alright, these group of people are, are, do believe in this, and this set of group of people believe in that, I mean, like, why can't we all just coexist, I, I, I do not understand that for the life of me, so, um, but my personal opinion would be yes, because I feel as if, you know, there's more to come out of that than you think there might be, um, and just for me personally, I, I wouldn't want to see anybody, you know, that I would know suffer from anything else that's to come in the future per se or whatever the case may be. So for me personally, I would have to say yes, but other people have different opinions. So that's just mine, man. Um, and to answer your last question, a new TV show, a new TV show, a new TV show, a new TV show. That is something we've all been asking for. Trust me. It's not just you. Um, if, if if by some chance there were to be another Dragon Ball Z series, I think that we all know at this point that Akira Toriyama might not be the one to make it because he officially said that he's um <clears throat> he's too tired of like drawing and stuff like that. And I mean, come on, guys, let, let's face it, that shit requires a lot of drawing. Like, in order for you to draw these things up, it, it's gonna require a lot of your time, a lot of your patience. A lot of, you know, support from your staff, from your, you know, supporters. And, and, you know, like, I'm not trying to say that there won't be a new Dragon Ball Z series. Um, I really, really hope to God that there is going to be a new Dragon Ball Z series. Because I think we all would like to see one. But at this point, we all have to think realistically and just look at Akira Toriyama's age. If there is going to be one, he's not going to be the one to make it. That that That's just, that is set in stone. If this thing, if this thing were to be made, I don't think Akira Toriyama is going to be the guy that's going to make it. I think it might be, you know, Toei Animation, or it might be some other group that we don't even know about. You know what I mean? If if it is going to go down, it's not going to be made by Akira Toriyama. Um, and it sucks for me to say that because I would love for Akira Toriyama to go and do that, but uh, at this point, we just have to think realistically. The guy is very, very old. Um, he forgot a lot of the things that he's been doing for. Uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that, but, you know, at, at this point, I really hope that there is a new show, because especially with the way things are going today, it, it, it looks absolutely amazing, so, um, but as of right now, I would have to say we're just gonna have to play the waiting game, but anyways, sir, thank you for the questions, and I hope you have a very awesome day, and once again, everybody, thank you all for watching this week's episode of Fan Mail of the Week, everybody, stay tuned for next week's episode, please, everybody, don't forget to, uh, Submit your questions in video format just as the first two people did and the last two people in uh, the previous fan mail. God, I have a headache. What the hell? I'm going to freaking transform into like a, a giant blob monster. I hope I don't get sick. If I get sick, I'm going to like... I'm going to super kick a raccoon in the face. Anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest news, information, updates, and fan mails. If you guys, uh, you know, want, just leave your comments. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Along with your video format questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to hit this video up with a like and a favor. Check out Unreal ENT Network, everybody. This is my second channel. The link will be in the description below if you guys want to see some awesome stuff. Stay tuned for more, everybody. Right now, I'm thinking about going making me some hot chocolate. Chocolate, but I don't know if I want to make hot chocolate. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, damn it. Eh, fuck it. Hot chocolate it is. Anyways, everybody, I'll be seeing you all later. Peace. I'm gonna make some hot chocolate.